everybody and welcome to this video. This video we will be discussing Comic-Con 2020, the highlights, what we enjoyed about Comic-Con, what we will be talking about that stood out in our minds. Um, so earlier I made a video about Comic-Con and what to expect. This was based on an article from Variety and now the weekend is over, Comic-Con is over. Now we're going to look back at Comic-Con at all the excitement. Now, this is a big news that happened during Comic-Con weekend, but it wasn't revealed at Comic-Con. Where was this revealed? A uh, Snyder Cut clip reveals Superman alternate suit from Justice League. Wasn't that like when Justice League was first coming out, there was already leaks of the black suit? Didn't we already know there was going to be the black suit? I thought it was just a rumor and just a bunch of Photoshop, so I guess it, I guess was, it was true. true. Yeah, Those... so, but now we have the actual footage and his face doesn't look like a bunch of Play-Doh. And uh, it was shot before he grew the mustache. Yeah. So uh, how was this revealed? Warner Brothers just revealed it, or I guess somebody else just had it? Plop it somewhere. Maybe it was on Zack Snyder's Instagram. That seems to be where all Snyder cut information comes from. I don't know. Which is weird. So um, Marvel made four Avenger films, and DC fans are excited that they're getting. DC fans are excited that they're getting. Uh, a do-over on Justice League, release the Snyder Cut, and uh, I don't know, I think people are... Yes, sir? What are people going to say when they find out that it sucks? That that's not the Snyder Cut? At least cut? it was the artist's intention, but I mean, if it inevitably winds up be, I mean, it's not like the previous two works are in the indication of what this one's going to be. Um, I don't know. I mean, because... There's a lot of hype for something that... for. Best case scenario is going to be fine. <laughs> it's, it's, um, I, 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 I don't know. For a guy who wants to talk for a living, he sure is a lot of loss for words. I, I, I just don't know because I'm thinking to every movie that everyone made a big deal about, Spider Man 3, and I'm trying to remember what other films where they cram so much stuff into it and they say, wow, it's going to be awesome because it's going to have this, 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 and this. But isn't it going to be a little more restrained because it was initially planned to be the first of a two-part movie where this is going to be all the setup for Darkseid? That's the initial plan for Justice League. It was going to be a two-parter. So then when we finally get this movie, it's going to end and we're never going to get the second it'll, part. I guess it'll have some form of a cliffhanger, but the hope is... What's the S stand for? It's not an S. On my world, it means hope. The, I'm going to say the hope is it'll re, re, reinvigorate audiences into like wanting to see the second part of this Snyder Cut or some form of the continuation of this DC universe, which seems seemingly dead or is due for a reboot or something. Flashpoint's even up in the air. I don't even know. It's all a big, gross mess. Yeah. Because it seems like they just want to hit the popular notes without the buildup. So can you imagine listening to a song and you don't hear the buildup notes, you just hear the, the peak notes? Master of analogies. The, the picture is now crystal clear. Uh, did you get a chance to look at the clip? I don't watch anything. Well, I don't look at anything. I was really disappointed by the black suit because it's pretty much the same suit. Superman's, but black? Yeah, they just painted Big shocker. it. And I was expecting something more from the comic books where it looks like a brand new suit. Couldn't he at least have his stupid 90s long hair? Just that like after awesome. like Superman came back. Was that after? I don't care. Did like he just had stupid long hair in the 90s. Yeah. Bring that back. And then I guess when they did the do-over, uh, they gave him a beard. Yeah. But it's cool because like in the comic book, he has uh, silver Wonder Woman bracelets and he's wow. got metal go-go boots and that's super cool the s you can really hear my enthusiasm out. bursting at the <laughs> seams well now it's gonna be less when you is see he, he's gonna be a bummer though right he's not gonna be fun superman yeah he's gonna be emo superman like there was only one bright spot in the whedon justice league and that was that one scene where he him and flash are like trying to save people we're not gonna get that in this yeah it's gonna be all gloomy. i don't know why people are excited for this temper your expectations folks oh wait i need to look at the camera <laughs> temper your expectations folks i don't know we're just gonna get too much stuff black mm. suit superman dark side whoever the villain is 
Wonder Woman, Green Lantern. He's going to be Steppenwolf again, and he's going to look boring and not interesting. I thought it was a different villain, and then Josh Whedon put in Steppenwolf. I don't know. I wish I cared about Justice. I mean, I'm excited that the artist's original vision gets to exist. I mean, I didn't say it for the New Mutants, but I'm glad that the the New Mutants is going to come out in its original form. No, like, reshoots or, you know, uh, studio meddling. So props for Zack Snyder. I can't wait to watch it and be... Uh, wildly whelmed well everyone thank you for watching there was a lot of comic-con to talk about unfortunately we couldn't do it all in one video so click on the next video for more comic-con discussions and if you want to keep up with what's up subscribe